welcome friends to our channel cbsc science lovers so today we are uh, here by taking a topic of ninth class science matter in our surrounding so basically students matter in our surrounding is a very interesting topic so uh, many things whatever we are seeing around us that all are the matter it is a uh, assume that all are the matter whatever we are eating whatever we are seeing like that matter this one is also a matter that one is also a matter that one is also a matter now one question should come in our mind that what is the matter so scientist just observe and says that what is the matter generally everything around us which occupy space that is the matter so students everything around us which occupy the space that is considered the matter another thing is everything around us having mass consider a matter so basically what is the matter all of the things made up by the material and it is made up by the matter so students what is the matter matter is all the things having two conditions what are these two conditions one is occupy the space means every material which occupy the space is said to be the matter another thing having mass every material having mass is said to be the matter like your air water stones clouds sands and whatever around us having the two conditions are considered as the <coughs> matter so student matter and early indian philosophers classified the matter into five composition element so they classified matter in the form of five composition element and they given that five composition element panch tatva <coughs> in panch tatva theory all the material made up by five virtual element that is air that is water earth fire and sky so combinedly these five elements material is said to be the panch tatva in ancient greek philosopher also accept this uh, classification of the matter so finally in modern scientists classified the matter on the basis of their physical and chemical properties if you see the matter so on the basis of the physical and chemical properties now today the matter is classified so basically we can call matter <coughs> which is occupy space means having volume another thing matter which has mass volume and mass these two two are the special features which specify a matter so an ancient time matter considered as the panch tatva made up by the five elements material that is air water fire and sky and nowadays matter classified on the basis of its <coughs> physical and chemical characters physical characters about the morphological characteristics of the matter so now let us start some physical character of the material of the matter which is we have discussed that everything around us that consider as the matter whatever the things we have discussed so this matter has some basic physical properties so what are these basic physical properties student let's come so physical properties of the matter the first physical property of the matter that all matter particles made up by small tiny particles all the matter it doesn't matter whatever the matter but all the matter made up physically by the small small tiny particles that is the first physical character of the matter that is all tiny particles all <coughs> matter made up by the small tiny particles and uh, the matter 
is a bulk of the small small particles so how we can prove it so we will uh, demonstrate one small activity by which we can prove that matter made up by the small small particles <coughs> let's see i am going to demonstrate one small activity in front of you see this one a matter in my hand in this glass water is a matter if you see the level of the water note down the level of the water and now another matter that is salt mix in that water i am mixing the salt another matter in that water so this simple activity you can do at your home easily students just science science learn by doing better so this is a simple activities see the students what effect on the level see the level of the matter here in this case there is no change in the level now the question is where is the another matter goes because i am saying that matter occupy the space when i mix one matter into another matter but there is no change in the level of the matter here you are seeing the water is on the same level there is no change in the level of the water then now the question is where is the another matter goes if it is occupying the space then where it is goes one question and this simple activity is showing that matter made up by the small small tiny particles why because when we mix one matter to another then only the particular structure can mix like that one thing also student another physical property of the matter that is matter particles have space in between them student all the matter particles has the space in between them suppose you consider that is the structure you are seeing here the particular structure of the matter in which all the matter particles <coughs> are arranged in a specific manner means this one is a matter and these are the small small tiny particles why because we are saying that matter made up by the small small tiny particles now the second physical character of the matter is all the matter particles having an optimum space in between them see that is space is space between the two particles and that space is said to be the interparticular space so <coughs> i told you one question from this activity that where is another matter goes so my dear students the question we got how just i am saying the second physical property of the matter that all the matter particles having space in between them so when we mix salt into water then salt particles settle down in between the space of the water particles like that means when i mixed salt into the water then salt particles set up in between the interparticular space so this activity also prove <coughs> that the matter particles has the space in between them so i demonstrate one activity which is showing the two physical character of the matter that all matter particles has a tiny particular structure means made up by the small tiny particles another physical property which i demonstrated by this activity that all matter particles having space in between them like that and only by having this space one matter easily mix up into another matter this phenomena is simply is said to be diffusion so student diffusion very well known phenomena when you mix one matter to another then both of the matter particles mix up to each other and the phenomena is said to be that diffusion so by the diffusion only we are able to smell some uh, fragrance 
So I will tell you the later. Let's go to the next property, physical property of the matter. Matter particles are continuously moving. Student, matter particles continuously moving. It means the matter particle has the energy in them that is said to be <coughs> particular energy. So it means matter particles continuously moving. They have the kinetic energy in them. Definitely, students. All matter particles, suppose this matter particles has an optimum energy, kinetic energy in the form of kinetic energy. So this kinetic energy is responsible for the movement of the matter particles. So in each system, in each matter system, all the particles moves or vibrate due to the kinetic energy present in the particles. So matter particles has energy and this energy increases, this kinetic energy increases by increasing the temperature. <clears throat> so diffusion and kinetic energy, two things I have discussed and both of the things related to the temperature. So what about the diffusion with the temperature? What you say is, uh, what effect on the diffusion we had when you increase the temperature? So my dear student, if you increase the particular energy, then particles start to vibrate rapidly. And this rapid movement increases the rate of diffusion. So two matter particles fastly mix to each other. So we can say that diffusion is also increases by increasing the temperature. So diffusion I can say that the diffusion is directly proportional to the temperature. Diffusion is the directly proportional to the temperature. One another activity I am going to <coughs> demonstrate you. So the student see this one a fragrance. Ek agarbatti ya dhubatti. We are saying it and we used to <coughs> diffuse it. Just at present, I am not getting the smell, much more smell of this uh, fragrance material. But after increasing the temperature, just I am warning it. Or in the language of the science, I am increasing the temperature. So see the students, what effect I got. If I increase the temperature, then this matter particles kinetic energy increases and its particles diffuse in the air rapidly see the diffuser and by this diffusion we are able to get the fragrance at a far distance means here i burn it and uh, a person which is far away from this uh, matter can easily get the fragrance why because of the increase in the rate of diffusion. Why? Because I increase the temperature in this case. And this is a, this activity demonstrate that matter particles has an optimum amount of energy and this energy is said to be the particular energy my dear students. So by these small small activities <coughs> you can prove that the physical properties of the matter. This activity shows that that all matter particles are continuously moving and due to the movement this fragrance diffuse all over the room by the diffusion and that uh, property that uh, activities also <coughs> prove that that each matter particles has an optimum amount of energy so basically these physical properties now another physical property of the matter my dear student that matter particles attract to each other now, each of the matter particles attract to each other by a force of attraction and that force is said to be the interparticular force if you see the particular structure of the matter so this matter particle one this matter particle two and these two matter particles attract to each other by an interparticular forces, my dear student. Two dear two particles attract to each other, all the matter particles, and that's why matter has a particular structure. And this 
particular structures due to the proper interaction proper attraction between the two particles so another thing is how we can prove that uh, all matter particles attracts to each other one thing i am showing with this pen and this is that is also a matter it's matter particle can you break this pen easy i am trying to break it but i can't easy why because the matter particles of this pen attracting to each other or uh, arranging a high interparticular force between them and that's why it is very difficult to break this because when we break to any matter what we are doing at scientific level we are overcoming the interparticular force in between them so basically student all matter particles attract to each other by a interparticular force these are the different different physical properties just see you can break this candle yes i can break it easily you can break this rubber easily you can not break this iron nail easily why because the difference of the amount in the matter particles in different different material so my dear student today i am telling you that what is the matter and uh, what are the different different theories of the classification about the matter and uh, what are the physical properties i have proven the physical properties by two small and short two or three small and short activities so you can also do that activities at your home so learn by doing my dear student science can be learn a lot just by your household activities so do that activities and go on with the science so what are the physical activities of the matter another i am uh, explain once again matter is made up by small tiny particles all the matter particles made up by the small all the matter made up by the small tiny particles another matter particles have one particular space in between them and that matter particle a space is said to be interparticular space so interparticular space third one matter particles are continuously moving due to the kinetic energy in them and this kinetic energy in the matter particles is said to be interparticular energy and by this energy the diffusion of the matter is possible so my dear student what is the diffusion we can also just uh, define the diffusion intermixing of the two matter particles is said to be the diffusion for example i showed you the diffusion here what happened the salt diffuse into the water here also i shows you when i increase the temperature so this uh, fragrable matter diffuse in the air and that's why we are able to uh, take the fragrance of this material at a particular distance so each matter particles has the internal and the last physical character that is the matter particles attract to each other so student all matter particles attract to each other so basically today we have studied about the matter and its particular structure and the physical <coughs> physical characteristics of the matter in our next video we will study about the physical state of the matter students these physical characters decide the physical state of the matter that we will know in our next videos so watch our next upcoming videos and i know that if you are the science lover that you will be our viewers dekhte rahiye hamare next segment mein hum aapko late rahenge science ke naye tarike dekhna na bhule agar aap science se karte hain pyar to hamare channel se nahi karenge thank you